How's that? Today is Tuesday, June 25th. Woo, that's really bright. Practicing beginner's mind. This week I'm going to mention it every single day and hopefully it just kind of carries on for the rest of my life. Today was a back squat day only. Normally I do both back squat and overhead press today on Tuesdays, but as you can see on the clock back there, it says 1249. I have to be at work at 3.30, and I woke up at 11.50-ish, so I got to the gym maybe 12.20, so I haven't, like, I wasn't even awake for half an hour before I got to the gym. I did all my warm-up stuff, and I was like, okay, yeah, I, I can I can squat today. I don't think I'm going to have time to overhead press. I I don't know why I slept so long. I, I feel like I went to sleep pretty early last night. And then when I woke up to turn my alarm off at like 9 o'clock, I was like, ah, it's kind of hot. So I turned on my AC and I fell back asleep. And luckily I woke up before 12 o'clock, barely, but still. Um, so I, I kind of rushed to the gym and, and made sure that I warmed up properly. That's why um, I was there for probably 25-ish like minutes before I started recording stuff. And I think it turned out pretty good. I knew that today was going to be the shift away from five sets of five because last week I didn't know how to count. I didn't remember what weights I was supposed to be doing and then ended up doing one top set of two and then five sets of five, which, yeah, um, was a mistake. <laughs> uh, but today I'm going back up to that same top set that I did last week, but instead of doing two, we're doing three and it's 155 here. I, I feel like when I was doing this set, first rep here, watch this, I ballerina a little bit, which basically gets on my toes, but it doesn't look bad. It truly felt like I was really, really on my toes. And as I look through the reps, like watching this after the set, I was like, wow, I cannot believe how difficult it felt, but look at how manageable it looked. I'm super happy with, with the speed on that 155 given a lot of things, right? Because I didn't wake up. I didn't have anything to eat. Um, and then last week, you know, 155 for two was really hard. Um, so, yeah, I'm super, super, like, pleased with, with the quality of those reps. And then, like, my down sets today, like, three sets of five at 140, which is basically 10% down from 155. These moved pretty well. I'm still trying to keep in mind those two big technique cues that I, I've kind of been implementing over the last three or four weeks um most recently that second one was to was kind of given to me oh, prior to last week but um oh, maybe it was two weeks ago. I, don't, I don't even know the timing is kind of strange um but basically that that second one that i'm talking about is to extend with my hips as i'm pushing up so like that, that one there looked like a, a much better extension through my hips rather than just trying to keep my, my back angle the same because, you know, as you're moving dynamically, things do change and you need to kind of counteract that hip flexion by extending your hips like actively. And then the other one is to kind of keep my, my weight a little bit forward in my foot, like heel to toe, a little bit forward and then left to right, like um, medial to laterally, a little bit on the outside so that my, my feet have uh, proper pressure. Um, I think that like fundamentally, that is how you're supposed to be squatting. I just kind of got away from that in a, in a very, very, very roundabout way, found my way back to it. Um, I think about a lot of things like when you, when you, you know, an example is like when you go for like a, um, a square jump where you're like two feet and you're jumping with both feet at the same time. Like typically you're gonna be a little bit further forward. You're never gonna be on your heels and the, the, your, you might be a little bit more uh, inward, like a little bit more medial for the foot pressure, but that also means that your knees will track more medially. Um, so that's kind of a little, a little different, but that kind of front to back foot pressure, that's the, it's kind of same as you would be doing when you are doing a like regular jump. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm getting really, really kind of deep into the weeds on like why I think my technique is, is, is uh, getting better. And, and perhaps maybe like, what is the ideal? So I, I, I'm super happy to talk about that type of thing. Like anytime I talk about squats, just because there's so many right ways to do it. And there's so many wrong ways to do it. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, 
Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Shoots.